Hello ho there neighborinos. Just got a couple VR stories for you tonight. First one, and arguably the more important of the two, is that HTC, you know HTC, the developer of the Vive virtual reality headset. So they are working on a phone right now that is going to be released this fall or winter, just the second half of 2019. But the question is, though, why am I talking about a phone in VR news? It's just strange, isn't it? Well, it it will all make sense here in a second. When I say that, they're, that that smartphone that they're working on that's going to come out during the second half of this year is going to be 5G capable. Right now, most of the phones we use are, are 4G capable. That means... That's the strength of the network connection that they typically use, is 4G. And occasionally, depending on your network strength or your unlimited bandwidth thing, it'll end up getting downgraded to 3G or 2G. Anyway, with the help of this 5G network that HCC is going to be running this phone on, this, this phone that they're working on and due to be released later this year, may be VR capable. And they plan on working virtual reality into this phone. Now granted, because this phone is going to be more of a higher end piece of equipment, you're still going to be looking at a, a hefty price tag if you want to do anything virtual reality related on this piece of equipment. That said, if, if you're trying to do, if you want to get this phone purely for VR, you're wasting your money. But if you want to use, if you want to get a, a phone that is singularly, that is actually capable of doing VR, but can still function as a phone, you know, handle all of your tasks, calls, text messages, and basically be your all-in-one system. That you take everywhere then yes this is going to be your go-to probably but as i said there are a few this whole thing is going to rely on a 5g network but they are they are not the only one that is working on a 5g capable phone and that list as well as all my sources you can find in the description below so the other part of tonight's news is just amazing. There have been a couple new patents released that detail Sony's future PlayStation VR plans. These patents go as follows. Essentially, you, you will be able to join live events and other players will be able to join you. There, there's a third one that I'll be able to go into here in a second, but those are the main things. So for example, on the first one, say you're watching a concert or watching a football game or something you can be there watching the concert in the stands or say you you could be in the bleachers on the half on the midfield line watching that football game you could you could be there watching watching the game or concert or whatever it is right there using the PlayStation VR. The other one, like I said, is where other people would watch you. Say you're playing a game or hosting your own concert or going to or hosting your own esports thing, other people can end up watching you through an already existing through the already existing PlayStation network features. But it it would it, it would allow a certain level of connectivity between all the players, which is far more intense than it currently is. And then that final one that I said I was going to get to is this. So there was, like I said, there was another one published where there could be gifts thrown or added to your account where say you're somebody throws you a gift you end up catching it that gift could end up translating into a 
shirt that gets mailed to you or a costume or something. It, it could, those gifts that you catch while you're doing whatever it is you're doing can translate to physical rewards. Well, you, you know, actual rewards rather than a physics, rather than a virtually rendered object, if that makes sense. But, of course, none of this is really set in stone. So, if, if you really want to get your, for, your knives and pitchforks out, now is a chance. So, I, that link is going to be in the description down below, just like all the others I mentioned. So, I believe this is a good place to end the video. If you guys liked it, let me know. If you hated it, let me know. And as always, don't forget to tell me how I'm a horrible person for giving you all this news. Ta-ta for now.